Please click the bell icon while subscribing to get my video upload notification. Hey guys, today I am going to show you a basic way of drawing anime style eyes. Now this is not exactly my style of drawing so I looked online for some tutorials. Unfortunately most of them did not have any explanation for the steps or done in a different software. So I checked few tutorials and made my own version from them. So first I took a bluish color and a 50% hard round brush with shape dynamics and transfer pen pressure on and start sketching the eye. Now this step is optional. But if you think you need to establish a shape first, then do it. First draw a concave shape like this and draw another similar line on top. I like to add a bit eyelid. It's up to you if you want to add it or not. Then mark the bottom part of the eye, which is quite flat and in line with end of the concave. Then using top and bottom part as border, draw an oval shape. Do not make it complete oval with smooth curve, instead make the lines little wavy or curvy to give it more organic look. Now I'm adding an eyebrow. You can draw an eyebrow with any thickness depending on the character. Distance between eyebrow and eye also matters. Higher distance makes the face look childish in combination with bigger eyes. Drawing very thick eyelash, this is another specialty of anime style eyes. Adding two at the bottom to indicate bottom part of eyelash. Took black color and a hard round brush with shape dynamic pen pressure on on a new layer. I am drawing the final outline of the shape. You can use pen tool to make the outline even smoother. Check out my pen tool tutorial for beginners if you want to try. I filled up the eyeball and the eyebrow both with black. This will help me restrict the area of coloring based on the base color. Now on a layer below, I started coloring the skin. This will give a good base for the eye. I used a semi hard round brush with a light skin tone. Added some reddish tone with a softer brush with transfer pen pressure on, below the eye and on top of the eyelid. The skin shade depends on your choice. Use smudge brush to blend the colors a bit. Took a bit of darker color and painted some freckles on the skin and used smudge brush to blend them with the skin. On a new layer, on top of the black eye border layer, colored the eyeball with sort of a turquoise shade. I used same semi hard round brush for this. On top of that, I painted the pupil with a light blue color. Realistically, pupils should be darker in color, but we are drawing anime here, so go crazy with the colors. Took a layer in between pupil and eyeball color layer and painted some blue shade with a soft brush. This layer will have all the eye color mix. So I added a lighter shade of the base turquoise color and purple with it. Then blurred the mix using Gaussian blur from filter menu and blur option. Amount of blur depends on how much color you want to mix with each other. On a new layer, on top of the shades layer, I added a curved black shade on top and blurred it as well. And then adjusted the color with rest of the colors. Then changed the brush mode to color dodge and took the lighter version of turquoise shade and create a bit of shine on the bottom side of the eye. Selected it with the lasso tool and then blurred the area to reduce the intensity of the shine. Attached a mask layer to this layer and used a soft round brush with black color to further blend the shiny part with the eye. Added two more dots on the side with the same color as the pupil on the pupil layer. Instead of using white, I took a very light gray and colored the eye white area on a layer right above the skin layers. Notice I did not use black color to border the bottom part of the eye. Here I used the eye white to define the eye border. Used smudge brush to slightly reduce the sharpness of the edge. Now on top of all the layers I added this curved black shade. This will give the eye depth by creating a shadow from the eyelid. I reduced the layer opacity of this layer. 
I added a bit of shade on the eyelid on top of the skin layer just to enhance the depth in the eye. Now with a brown shade and semi hard brush I started coloring the eyebrow using similar method as the eyeball. Try to keep little bit of edge black so that it looks like a hard borderline. While coloring like this, press Ctrl from keyboard and click on the eye black border layer thumbnail. This will make the area selected and you can color inside it on a new layer without spilling color outside of the drawing. Added some shade on the eyebrow. Use color of your choice. Turn on transfer paint pressure of your brush to blend the colors or blur them like before. Now on top of all the layers, added a big and small oval shape like this in white color then added another one on the side these make the eye look even more shiny i also erased middle part of the shine on the bottom side of the eyeball as all of it looked a bit too shiny to me added a bit of oval light color on top of the pupil to give the pupil a bit depth it's anime so why not now enhance the look from adjustment panel just play with the parameters and see which enhancement you like the most. I used brightness contrast, vibrance and levels option. You can pause the video and check the values I gave. But I personally think you should try this on your own and check the outcome. So there it is, anime eye is done. If you like this tutorial, please share and like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!